So jumping right into the video, I have my mixing bowl, I have my shimmer lights conditioner, and it's that silver blue toning conditioner. I also have my 30 volume developer, my BW2, I have my mixing brush, and some clips, as well as some tweezers, and of course my frontal ladies, you have to have your frontal, like what is the point of this video, or your closure. And now I'm going in with two scoops of BW2 and I'm just placing that in my mixing bowl. I kind of want to make a thick substance so like a thick um, consistency so I'm kind of going in with a little more powder than developer. I put two scoops of that powder now I'm going in with one and like three-fourths of that um, of that developer like I didn't fill up the second um, scoop to the top I kind of not a little more than halfway so you kind of can eyeball it and just see like if you're scared and don't want to like on that second one you could just kind of slowly add it just till you get the consistency that I'm talking about you kind of want it thick you kind of want it thick enough that it's like it doesn't like fall off too much of like your brush but you also want it you don't want it um, too thick that it just doesn't like budge at all like you know you don't want it like cement you don't want that thing too like thick but you do want it thick enough that it doesn't permeate through your lace too much and end up bleaching your hair because we don't want that like that is a hot mess that is not what we're going for we're not going for a reverse ombre so yeah you kind of just want to smooth it across this lace like it looks so simple i thought it was going to be so simple after watching other videos too on you know how to bleach knots and stuff like that and they don't really tell you that this is pretty difficult because you want so hard to just push on the um with the brush you just want to push so hard down onto the lace so that you can get it kind of through the knots or you think that's what you're supposed to do or at least that's what I felt like I was supposed to do but as I was doing it like you really want to just work very slow while you're doing it because you don't want to push down onto the lace too much because then that can create like more more of a chance for you to bleach the hair and you don't want that because like I said that's a hot mess and that's not what we're going for and so it really was kind of difficult not trying to press down because you're just like it's almost like your condition like you want to just do it <laughs> so i'm honestly working really slow it's sped up but i'm working really slow making sure that i'm not pushing down too hard and that i'm just putting a light layer a very thin layer making sure that i can at least get through the knots but not get through to the hair and whatnot So I kind of covered my table in aluminum foil and just to protect my actual table because it's like a legit nice table. <laughs> so but this kind of helped me because I just easily press um, the frontal like the bleach side down into the foil which kind of foil kind of activates the bleaching and creates like a faster process for it or at least that's what I'm told. <laughs> So yeah, and I kind of just pressed it along and it kind of pushes through a little bit into the knots a little more. 
but yeah right now I'm just checking to see if I did bleach any of my like roots and like I said we don't want that so I'm just checking double like double checking making sure that I didn't do that and if you did like just get a wet piece of paper and kind of take the bleach off and yeah so I didn't take any video footage unfortunately of the knots but I do have some pictures so here you guys see those knots are bleached and they look bomb.com and it looks like scalp okay uh-huh my first time uh-huh so don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and stay on the lookout for part three of this wig series and yeah so love you guys